Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Meg Barbie. Um, I thought I would just share a little bit of my progress as far as bullying with you guys. It's only been like a year since I've been practicing. I can honestly say it's only been uh, since like this year I've really, really been practicing since I got my Honda Grom. That's when, I, that's when the practice went to the next level. But I'm just going to take you back down to memory lane just to see how far I've come since it's kind of been like a year. But throughout the video, I'm going to show a little couple clips of how it was and things like that. So I started on a 50cc scooter. I mean, I was terrified. I didn't even have one at first. My husband had one. I was on his. It was. I felt like it was ridiculous. Like, why are we doing this, right? And so I finally got my own, and I really started to like it. And then we tried to start wheeling it as well. But 50cc scooter, you're not going to do that much. At least I didn't anyway. So, um, but I enjoyed it. We ended up giving those back and selling those. I didn't really do much on that. Like I couldn't do, it was automatic. So I couldn't really do much at all. After that, we got a, what well, we got the semi-auto. It was the SSR. Cause we really didn't know much about, I didn't know much about the bikes at all. So I was just getting on whatever he got. So the semi-auto, I really didn't really do too much with that. But after we got it, we kind of got rid of it. Um, but I was afraid of that. And it was still like, it was still all like, I didn't have to shift or anything. I did, did we have to shift? I think I had, we had to shift on that bike. Yeah, it was just all like, no clutch. That's what it was, there was no clutch on there. So I was still terrified of that bike. Like I dropped that bike as soon as we got it. Trying to pick it up and underestimate it. My practice really started with the SSR 125, the big wheel. That's when my practice kind of really started. I guess you could say I'm practicing on the brake, my foot brake. Because I did a lot of one foot downs on that, a lot of one foot downs in the summertime last year. Like that's basically what I, because I couldn't really get it up with two feet on. So it was just a lot of up, down, up, down, up, down with that. That really, I could say that that SSR 125, that really taught me my break. So my husband had the SSR, he had the 150. I used to try to get on that to do two feet on. Mm, I was, ter I, I still was scared. I didn't know, like it was just a bigger bike, like I wasn't used to it. So I can honestly say that my practice really started on the Honda Grom. Like, and then in the beginning when I got the Grom, I couldn't really get it up because I'm like, oh, it's underpowered, this and this and that, right? Doing all the complaints in the world when honestly it's just seat time. That's all it was. We changed the sprocket a few times. You can go back into the videos and see that. Like, that's when the bike started popping up for me, so it was a bit easier. So it, it would tend to like run out of gear a lot. I had to get the bike all the way back for it to stay, you know what I mean, for it to stay. And I wanted, to, I didn't want to go back that far yet. I love the hologram. I kind of miss it, but it's just like the best of both worlds. I always wanted a bigger bike to begin with, but my husband was like, oh, start small, start small. And I'm, you know me, I don't know, I want something bigger, but I really appreciate me starting on a smaller bike because it helped. Because if I would have started on, let's say something, let's just say this here. If I would have started on something like this here, I don't know how many times I would have fell or probably got discouraged. Who knows? But, I mean, people can do it. Don't get me wrong. You can do it. But for me, no. We got rid of the ground. We got a bike for him so we can all, because the people that I ride with, it's only three of us. But we all got, like, good sports, right? So I had to get something to match us. So he got the KTM, and now I'm on the KLX. I'm sure you, if you watch his channel, Only 50 CC, you would know you've seen it. But this is what I ride now. This is my bike for now. And um, we still gonna get another bike. Cause this is not, we still gonna get another bike. But this bike right here, this is my baby. <laughs> I just started, see if we just got to this new lot. This new lot is new. Maybe it's like our second week here. So I've really been able to get the bike up and see what it like, what needs to be done up there at Balance Point. I'm not too comfortable getting back there with Balance Point yet, but I appreciate the bike. Like it's just, it's a lot, it's a different, coming from the Grom to this, I'm just, I'm a lot more excited because I have more, it's like more power now, a little bit more power. I just, overall, it's just really a lot better. Now, I know the Grom could have been cool too if I did a lot more, um, if I did a lot more changes to it, like changing to the engine, stuff that they do, like big war kits or ECU, whatever it is, things like that that you can do to change it. I know I could do that, but I ultimately, I like this bike a little bit better. I don't know. So I will show you guys, because I'm thinking I've gotten a little bit better. I will show you now, ultimately, kind of a year later, how far I have come on my wheelies.